Hello and welcome. I am Maziel and today I'm going to talk about the Legion of the Damned and a theory I have about them and a theory that actually pretty much doesn't include the Firehawks but I will be mentioning about the Firehawks because I think context is important when talking about any form of theory or anything like that you know because you do need to get a good idea of where I'm coming from and that is what's the point of the Legion of the Damned. This is kind of interesting in my opinion because we know they exist. How they came about is still a mystery but their reason for being? Now that's a question I think needs answering. See here's the thing when it comes to the origins of the Le origins, oranges, oranges, pfft, origins of legions of the damned is that some believe that they were the firehawks yet we may have seen them during the Horus Heresy. And the Battle of the Webway, apparently. I think that's where it was in the Empire of Mankind, or is it Unremembered Empire? One of those two books. But, you know, Ferris Manus appears in a ghostly figure with the victims of Esvan, and we see all this cool stuff happening and them fighting. So the origins are kind of a mystery. Uh, it's kind of cool, really. The Firehawks one is an interesting one because there is some evidence to back up that, you know, that they were Firehawks. Because the Raptorus Rex, Raptorus Rex appeared, just you know, has been seen around the location of where Legion of the Damned has shown up. Even though oddly enough, Legion of the Damned haven't always shown up in the same place at the same time. They can appear in other parts of the galaxy. But the Raptor Raptorus Rex has appeared with them, which just gives them credence to be in Firehawks. And I realised something because there's also times where there was one time where a Ultramarine, I believe it was, saw the Ultramarine insignia on one of the Legion of the Damned. Which means that Legion of the Damned was not a Firehawk, he was an Ultramarine. Again, very interesting. And finally, in the book uh, Legion of the Damned by Ben Counter, God, this book needs to be reprinted. It's such a good book and well worth reading. We kind of see how they may recruit, because the final remaining Space Marine the last relictor, of course, Imperial Fist, so he had final girl armor, kind of got pointed at by the Legion of the Damned. So this may indicate that's how they recruit, but they see the best of the best space marines. There's lots of space marines, and when they die, you know, maybe they pick the best ones. Now, then I got to ask, thinking, okay, that's, uh, that's what their origins could be. We're not 100% sure. But what we do know is that they're demons. We know that because during the Gathering Storm Saga, they appeared. Then a big warp portal, what was it, like a warp thing that destroyed all demons and sucked them into the warp and the Legion of the Damned and Celestine's power went with it. So much indicating that, yes, these guys are demons. It also adds credence to the fact that the Emperor might be the fifth Chaos God. And I was thinking, okay, so why? Why would these things even exist? And then when we go into the biology of the space moon and the gene seed, we know they were created with some warp shenanigans. Primarchs very much so, but it still goes down into their gene seed. And then I realise something. This goes to what I said about the gene floor of the space wolves and the blood angels. This is a army building tactic by the emperor to take the war into the warp. The war in the warp was going to be inevitable anyway. Here's the thing what people have mis kind of didn't realise, but the Emperor probably did, even if he got rid of all religion within the galaxy. Uh, no one, no religion happened. All gone. Starved the Chaos Gods. Killed, you know, they didn't get this power from worship anymore. They would have still got some power. It wouldn't have been as great as it was, but they would have got some. They would have Corn will still be growing strong because of wars happening. You know, p diseases and plagues still happen, so Nurgle would have still got power. There's always going to be schemers and plotters, especially in politics. So Zinch was going to get get some. And as for gluttony, excess, yes, that includes Slanesh. And you also got to remember, it was... <clears throat> the Emperor was just going in our galaxy. There were many galaxies. And to say that the Chaos Gods had no influence on them at all would be an out and out lie so yeah the chaos gods would have still had power but it would have been greatly diminished from you know the fact that the worship from our galaxy was gone it was cut off so why 
So what next? Well, the emperor had to find probably would have had to find a way to take the war to the warp itself. I said before that I believed that a lot of reasons that the emperor didn't use things like warp speed or warp engines. This is not the warp as in 40k, but warp as in Star Trek, where it moves. You know, it doesn't really move the ship as much as it moves space around the ship, allowing them to travel faster than light was this was a psychological warfare against chaos saying look at us we're going through your territory and you can't touch us you know we're going we're literally harming you and taking your worship away and you can't do a real thing about it at the moment now let's talk about the uh, war and the warp there is wars happening in the warp all the time constantly and this is known as the great uh, the great game all of the chaos gods are constantly fighting and bickering, trying to get land from each other. You know, always fighting. So, that's the thing that happens. So, what would be a good way to, you know, take any form of action against the chaos gods? You would have to fight them yourselves. And yes, we now know that the chaos gods can be wounded. Not because of Scarbrand, you know, putting a chink in Korn's armour. But because of Rubute Gilliman and the Emperor burning down Nurgle's garden, thus injuring Nurgle to the point he can no longer sleep. So, this is where the Legion of the Damned come in. The Legion of the Damned are demons, so they would live in the warp, but they would be part of the Emperor and, well, the God Emperor's spirit. And now he has an army in there. And what's the best army to have? The one you've already created and is still recruiting from in the materium you don't have to make demons if their souls are being made are being used for you they are being sent to the warp these space means die they get sent to the warp and then they become legion of the damned that's basically it that's all i can really say uh, i have no real evidence that backs this up other than that this would be a good way for the emperor to have an army within the warp to fight the demons and chaos once the great crusade was to finish any space moon that died during that time would have become a legion of the damned and part of that demonhood and therefore he would have been able to form an army there and then of course i've said about the gene flaws that like the wolfen and the black rage would have also helped if they were triggered by the primarchs and not because of a dead primarch <laughs> so that's that i'm trying to stretch this video out now because i think i've made my point honestly the legion of the damned is interesting and i think they're kind of cool we've had dreadnoughts rhinos uh, really cool force and well worth looking into. If you give a chance, read the book by Ben Counter. It's a good book. It's interesting, even though, you know, Imperial Fisk Final Girl armor. Yeah, thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, kind of a different video tomorrow. Uh, anyway, catch you all in the next one. See you soon. Links to Wayland Games down below if you wish to save up to 20% on your Warhammer and free delivery off to £20. For Wayland Planet, for comics, DVDs, manga, all those cool stuff, toys, etc, etc. And there is also my merchandise, t-shirts, cups, and my own comics all down below. And I'll catch you in the next one. Bye-bye.